a visit to the Beijing Chinese Medicine University and then the Lama Temple in Beijing. So just a short vlog today of what I've been up to. Uh, first, the Chinese Medicine University. We started our visit with a brief tour of the Chinese Medicine uh, Museum that they have at the university. And um, it starts right from first principles with, this is the famous Peking man, um, and then went through and looked at, you know, and, and tied in how some of those, you know, first earliest implements and archaeological um, artifacts that have been found actually tie in with the production of Chinese medicine. You know, start the the very start of things like acupuncture and herbal medicine and so on. So I'm not going to show you all of the um, the museum. I'll take you around just a little bit so you see some of the different things on display. Um, it does talk about the origins of, of things like acupuncture, herbal medicine, qigong as well. This display over here, Ooh, there we go, some of the early artifacts relating to qigong. Um, so yeah, nice, nice to see some of these things at the university. Um, unfortunately, we were only able to see one floor of the museum. Uh, because the other floor, which deals primarily with herbal medicine, um, is undergoing renovations at the moment. But still cool, nice to have a look, um, have a look through this. This is a uh, replica of the famous brass man acupuncture model. And it's interesting, I've had a couple of people ask me about seeing Chinese medicine places in China, and I think they think it's going to look something like this, um, whereas really it looks more like this most of the time. So you can see there's a similarity between the, the modern and the old, the, the drawers that things are kept in, but um, certainly visually the modern ones aren't all that interesting to look at, just to see. Um, I've seen much more interesting ones in Western countries sometimes. Chinese people running them, of course, but you can see more of the herbs and things on display. Most of the time, nowadays, you just go and you see a bunch of shelves, a bunch of drawers, that's about it. Later, we met with the chairman and the secretary general and uh, other uh, important members of the executive of the World Academic Society of Medical Qigong. We had some presentations and, of course, uh, a big banquet lunch. And then we went to visit the Lama Temple in Beijing. And I hadn't actually been to the Lama Temple before. Um, I don't have too much footage from inside, and that's because most of the areas, they didn't really want photography. But I do have a few shots that I will put over the top of this. Um, I did find a few things interesting visiting the Lama Temple and, and particularly looking at some of the both similarities and then also differences in manifestation of Buddhism between the Tibetan tradition and, and the other traditions of Buddhism. Um, and because of course there is a lot of crossover and then there's a lot of difference. And then considering the way that the different cultures historically have been intertwined between Tibet and China and even India. Looking at the connections between, uh, between all of those different places and then also how politics has played a role uh, multiple times at different times in shaping things as well. So that was, that was interesting things to, to consider and, and think about while looking through the temple and I guess as part of that because often different practices become attached or associated with these religions and of course Qigong becomes associated with these religions and so does yoga and to consider the ways that if the religions if there's been this strong connection and uh, influence run between the different strands of religion how there's also that strong uh, connection and relationship flowing between the different strands of other types of practice as well. Um, so yeah, 
nice interesting visit uh, today at the Lama Temple.